Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for the second part of July, a bonus reading. It starts now for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Looking for new energies, positive energies for Scorpio. These are a little big to um, fan shuffle. So we're going to do it a little bit different this time. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, positive energies for Scorpio. There's nothing wrong with doing it this way. I've done it this way for years. That way people don't think I'm messing it up, pre-picking them. You always do what you're supposed to do, or the best way possible. But this is for, like I said, your energy, new energies, positive energies. And if we don't get a positive energy, we'll, we'll work through it, you know? Let's see. The Emperor in reverse. Things are a little out of control. Things are a little out of control for Scorpio. Maybe someone's over-controlling you. Maybe you're over-controlling somebody else. But the Emperor is about something way out there, okay? It is. It really is. Um, the Knight of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Someone non-committal. They're kind of busy right now. and They've got a lot of energy. Even you could take on this energy. You may have a lot of fire in your chart, even though you are a Scorpio. But I also see something non-committal. Someone doesn't want to commit. Things are out of control. It also could be your energies. You're getting more motivated to do something new. The obstacle. Seven of Wands motivation is getting motivation. So in the past, maybe you had it. But the obstacle is maybe you're starting to, you know... Something's starting to get in the way. I did see the emperor, like we're a control situation. Something's out of control. Page of Swords, messages. Page of Swords also could be um, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or messages that are abrupt and to the point and kind of rude. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with somebody. Um, that also could be someone's being very self-defensive also with the Seven of Wands in reverse. So, um... It could be that you should watch your words or somebody should watch their words with you because something's really out of control right now. What is coming towards you is the Nine of Pentacles. Gain is coming towards you and you will be getting more independence, okay? And um, the Three of Wands. It's in reverse. It may take some time because the Three of Wands is about avoidance or um, it's, it's going to take time for it to come in. But the Three of Wands is also that you may not be seeing gain coming your way when it is, okay? Because what you're dealing with is something out of control. So something may be like um, distracting you. So realize don't be too distracted because you got something coming your way that's going to bring in some finances. And you may be dealing with other things that will, like I said, distract you. Now, let's go to the past with the Knight of Wands. Like I said, you could take on this energy where you should be, you know, should be, because it's like a powerful energy of, of motivation, of um, uh, passion energies. But it's, for some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Possibly a Sagittarius, can be a Leo. Um, could be an Aries, but I don't think so. Um, let me have two cards for that. Two cards for the Knight of Wands. Yes, you want to release a burden. You want to release a burden. You're feeling trapped. So maybe you're wanting this energy and you're feeling like you need to get your motivation back. But like I said, for a lot of you, you're trying to release burdens um, and you're feeling trapped. And some of you may get a little defensive over it or dealing with people that are very defensive towards you. So the Seven of Wands, I need two cards, please. For Scorpio is the obstacle. Why is it there? Page of coins could have to do with money or messages over money and also partnerships with the two of cups in reverse. So it could have to do with, you know, you're involved with somebody with work, you know, when it comes to money um, or, you know, your partner in life um, or that you thought was a partner in some way. Messages got kind of messed up when it came to money. Some of you can be dealing with, you know, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. 
but I do see this also as something to do with finances that didn't come through the way you wanted it to, that had to do with partnerships or love, and it made you defensive and other people around you. Current environment, watch your words, page of swords, because it could start arguments. Page of swords is being abrupt and rude with your um, speech. You could be doing this or someone towards you or both together. So the page of swords in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Scorpio. Like I said, some of you may be dealing with a really uh, straight to the point air sign. Two cards, please. I'm just telling you the energy that's attached to that. Yeah, someone's losing strength over, oh boy. If someone did not like what was offered and literally turned something down because they felt someone was rude and they just didn't want the, that type of energy. Because it does like show you like someone tried to offer you something and you kind of like, no, absolutely not. And like I said, I feel like someone got defensive could have, like I said, have to do with money. But you do have gain coming your way. So don't be too distracted over all the noise that's going on in your life right now because I don't want you to miss it out because I also could be the warnings with the three of wands. You got gain coming your way, but be careful of missing it out or it may take time. That's a, two different situations that could be here. So this is why Tarot helps us. It tells us what's going to occur and where you keep your eyes open and what you can avoid and what path you can take if you choose to take another path. But here I'm saying you've got gain coming your way. Don't be distracted. So the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. That's coming towards Scorpio. Two cards, please. Yeah, that is, again, Seven of Wands. Don't get too defensive. Don't get too defensive. Okay, I see a lot of people getting defensive, you know, lately. But I got the Seven of Wands twice here. It is the obstacle. It was coming towards you as gain. But I think you be, you're going to be distracted. So don't be too distracted. Because, you know, you're unhappy right now. And things are getting your way. And there's a lot of noise in your life. So the, the thing is to keep an eye on the prize. Keep on your eye on the Nine of Pentacles where money can come in and give you a lot more independence. Because you may be arguing over money right now with somebody else. And there's that Three of Wands. Like I said, it could take time or you could miss out if you don't keep your eyes open. And don't let, like I said, the things around you distract you. So the Three of Wands in reverse. Two cards, please. Scorpio, two cards. Yeah, you may miss something. Yeah, that's going to bring more balance in your life, okay? You may miss something with more that will bring you balance in life if you're not careful. So the thing is, don't let um, someone steal away your sunshine, okay? So I, someone's going to try to mess you up, whether life in general is, people, job, it doesn't matter. Someone's going to get it on your nerves, and they're going to distract you. And something like you may get a message that's coming in, or a different type of situation coming in. And because you're so distracted and so upset, you, you may miss out. So this is the key to throw. Keep your eye on this. Let this go. Let the energies that are getting in your way go. That's making you lose strength. Okay, because something good is coming in. But it says that because the Three of Wands is someone's not looking for it. Also, like I said, this Ace of Cups, that'll bring balance. So what you do, you turn that situation around. You go for that Nine of Pentacles and tell everything and everybody else, I'm not dealing with all the noise in life right now. Self, um, uh, go into meditation so you can calm down so people don't get under your skin and life doesn't get under your skin and just focus on the Nine of Pentacles. Now let's see which path you should be walking towards. This gives us more information. They call it the, um, uh, the Sacred Traveler. What road are you supposed to be traveling on in July for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? I need one card at least, please. breakthrough is at hand. That's what it's saying. So that's what you should be traveling towards. This Nine of Pentacles, knowing a breakthrough is coming. 
Don't get so, like I say, caught up in all the noise. Let's see what the moon has to say. The moonology book, moonology cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising is an oracle deck that I've got a while back, about six months ago. I kept on saying, I'll go through them, and I just never did. Well, it's time. Got a lot of weird energies out there lately, as we already know. So I need a card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, and I hope positive energies from the moon cards. One card, please. It's time to take action. I do see you need to take action and, and not worry about, like, I need, I, I need you, or it needs you to go for this Knight of Wands. Time to take action. This is like Moon and Aries, so maybe it is Aries type energy where you need to really get motivated and don't let things get in your way because that could happen. So, like I said, put this away from you. Go towards this Nine of Pentacles, which is gain. It's financial gain. Um, it's also, it also brings you more independence, something that brings you more independence. Get rid of the noise because there is a breakthrough at hand. You're going to get something coming your way. Just don't miss it. Just don't let life trip you up, okay? That is your reading, Scorpio, and we'll let this go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.